Good evening, it's Brian at Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Calair. I want to show you this 2016 Honda Civic 1.6 diesel Sport. Brian's my name. If there's any information you like in this particular car, please do give me a call. 086-843-1945 or you come to Garage in Calair, just ask for Brian. The garage is located in Kildare Town, so we're about 30 minutes south of Dublin. We're just off the M7 motorway at the Kildare Village shopping outlet exit, which is between junctions 12 and 13. The garage is a family-run business in operation for almost 70 years. If you want directions to the garage, please do give me a call 086-843-1945. And if you come to the garage, just ask for Brian. So like what we're saying, this is a 1.6 diesel Sport Honda Civic. The nice thing about these 2016s is that they were the generation 2 in these particular cars so they had a much bigger fatter front end and rear end as well. Let's have a closer look at the spec. Civics in 2016 had a nice aerodynamic bumper which actually came out at the same time as the Type R came out. So the lines actually mimic the kind of style of the Type R bumper. It's got nice big grills along here. The front fog lights have a nice chrome surround. The headlights are composed of basically a full light in here, dipped headlight here and a big long daytime running light or what's also a parking light when the headlights are turned on. The other cool thing on these cars was the headlights were also automated so basically when you unlock the car headlights come on depending on what um, setting they're left in and basically at night time you would have the light that will come on automatically when it gets dark also. The engine in this particular car is a 1.6 120 horsepower diesel engine. The car is quite torquey, it actually produces over 300 Newton meters of torque, it's 180 euros a year for road tax and fuel efficiency is a very very realistic 70 plus miles per gallon. So basically if you're thinking in litres per 100 kilometres that's about 4 odd litres per 100 kilometres. That is guaranteed, I am watching these cars since that engine came out in 2013, regularly people are achieving easy 60 to 70 miles per gallon and as we were saying that's between 4 and 5 litres per 100 kilometres, no problem at all. And in terms of power, there's loads of power in this engine, so basically from 23 kilometres per hour 1500 rpm, put your foot down, second gear, it gets down the road real quick. And that's the same in every gear. So I think it's fair to say, this car has got a good blend of power and also fuel economy. And it's also nice to drive. The key's also got a full open close setup. So basically from the key here, if you watch the windows, the windows drop down from the key. Or similarly, if you watch the mirrors and the windows this time, both wing mirrors and windows retract using the key as well. So it's a dead handy little feature. In terms of the rear of the car, there's quite a striking spoiler that comes along the back, but it's actually aerodynamic as well. And if you see these other little spoilers on each side, they're also aerodynamic too, and the hole underneath the car is quite flat, again, to reduce airflow. So all in favor of fuel economy. In terms of the boot, unfortunately, we haven't had a chance to clean this car yet, but as you can see, it's in very, very nice condition. From the inside, nice condition throughout on both sides, and also then it has a function where we can drop this section down along here, it actually makes the boot really, really deep compared to other cars in this class. As this is a sport model, parking sensors are also standard along the back bumper, as well as the front, so it makes parking much easier. The other nice thing about these 2016s is they have these little mouldings along the bottom of the door, just to make the car a little bit chunkier looking compared to previous models. In terms of the rear of the car, the back door is actually open at a right angle, so it makes access much easier in terms of getting children in and out, or even adults as well. Back seats on this car are in very nice condition throughout and they look like they've been very rarely used. The car is a previous one owner car with one private owner. Three head restraints are standard in the back. You've got three three point, head, three three point safety belts even. And then along this section here we'll have Isofix on the right and left hand sides of the seat. There's a retractable armrest through here. And the other cool thing is it's got magic seats. Which basically means that you can actually retract this seat which was here straight upwards, or if we want, we can let it straight back down. And it's just really handy for carrying things that are quite tall. Similarly, the back seat easily retracts down forward, or similarly, all the way back up, depending on what kind of load you have in the rear of the car. Also, for privacy, in terms of what you're carrying in the back, this rear window here is tinted along here so people can't see what's in the boot. In the front of the car, condition is equally good, but again, this is a one-year-old car, so you'd expect that. Driver's seat in very nice condition, passenger seat in nice condition, as are the door cards on both sides, and along the dash, steering wheel, and gear knob too. As a sport model, we also have front and rear electrics along here, as well as electrics for mirrors, and as we see, they're retractable using the key or this button down along through here. We've got controls over here, which can turn off the traction control. Parking sensors can be switched on and off from the front or rear along here, and this is just for height of the lights. The economy function in through here, 
once we press that, has a number of functions. First of all, these blue lights on either side change to green when we're driving economically. It also reduces how aggressive the cruise control is and also how aggressive the air conditioner is. The air conditioner itself is a dual zone setup, so driver side and passenger side are independent with front and rear windscreen demisters and easy to use controls down through here, which also when pressed come up in the centre of the screen up above too. This is the Honda Connect setup, so first of all, using the 6-4 gear gearbox, if we go for reverse, we get a nice big camera with dynamic lines which change depending what way we're moving the steering wheel. Once we go back into neutral, the Honda Connect setup then is a touchscreen radio which is powered by Android. So phone functions over here, trip information in through here, aha, uh -huh, which allows us to listen to any internet radio station over here, general settings over here, audio in through there, and then if we go in through here, further functions which allow us to do things like calculator clock and stuff like that you find in an Android phone, and it even has a browser if we want to go surf the internet. In the centre armrest, it's also housed two USB points, HDMI if we want to play video up through the screen up through here, and then a 12 volt power outlet in through here. Drinks holders which are closable in through there. As we are saying, six forward gears with a nice leather coated gear knob. Steering wheel is also leather coated. Controls here for Bluetooth. The iMid up through here is controlled from here and it's giving us information like any warnings, fuel efficiency, how much fuel is left, clock in terms of time and general radio station and other kinds of information there. Lights, handbrake and also engine temperature in through here. Engine revolutions with up and down telling us when to change gear most effectively and fuel down through here as well. As we were saying, headlights are automated from the control over here. Wipers are also automated so when it starts to rain they'll also come on themselves too. The steering is also rake reach so it means we can bring it away or towards us and we can also raise it up or down depending on what is most desirable. And over here then we've cruise control with an intelligent speed limiter as well. So that is a quick overview of our 2016 1.6 diesel Honda Civic Sport. This car is now in stock and available for sale. The video unfortunately the car has not been fully cleaned yet but as you can see it's in extremely nice condition throughout. The car is a one private owner car and we have a service history from the car since brand new. So as we're saying at the garage here, the garage is in operation for almost 70 years and it's a family run business. So basically when you spend money you know you're spending it with somebody that's going to look after you. The garage here we can offer you trade-ins on your own car so if you have a part exchange just give me a call 086 843 I'd be quite happy to give you an estimate over the phone no matter where you are in the country. We also offer very competitive finance because we deal with all the major lenders. This particular car here will come with service and it will also come with a warranty until 2019 too. So hopefully this particular Honda Civic is of interest. Thank you for taking time to watch and I look forward to speaking to you if this is a car that is of interest to you.